So with my daily notes in Rome, I've kind of made a few changes the last couple of weeks, and I think it's working out pretty well. I used to have pretty robust daily templates with a lot of checkboxes and things in there, and I've simplified it quite a bit, largely due to the interstitial journaling I'm trying to do, basically kind of keep a record of my day as I go through it. I'll show you an example of what I mean. So we look at an example date, pretend this is an actual date on the page here. Um, as I'm going through my weekly preview, I'll build out the dates ahead of time, and I'll use the new uh, template feature to add the daily template for me. So I can do semicolon, semicolon, it pulls up the list, and D. So semicolon, semicolon, D for my daily page, and it drops it in. It's really just this list of stuff. Today's goals, kind of the big tasks I want to accomplish, and then the daily goals, you know, things I want to do every day, the things at the top for today. And I'll show you how those, those play out in just a minute. So to add this kind of template, um, I may have a page called metadata. You can have whatever you want. I have this thing called daily pages. And as long as you put sla Rome slash templates next to it, and I have another video about that you can check out if you need, then that piece will pull over with that name to call it, and then it will show everything below. You'll notice I even have the extra empty bullet at the bottom so I can immediately start typing without having to drop it down um, when I do it every single day. So it works well. So back to here again, because it's called that, I can just do semicolon, semicolon, whoops semicolon, semicolon, D, and get that daily page in there. So a typical daily page will actually look more like this um, with that stuff at the top, but then kind of my list of events for the day. I'll kind of build out my day, again, usually a week ahead of time, but uh, the day before I'll look at it again in the morning of, I'll look at it and tweak, and then make notes throughout the day as I go. So when I have that call with Steve, and I may say, you know, the project is going well, um, whatever, you know, maybe tie to other things, I could add more to-dos. But then these items that I used to make notes about in here, I'll also put into my interstitial journal. So when it's time to publish the blog, I can say, you know, at you know 9.45, published, you know, that blog entry. And I can go in there and cool. So this is more just for me to reference that I've done things. Work out, like, cool. So in you know, evening here, maybe I just ran. So I can do slash time is what I often do for stuff. You know, ran 2.5 miles on treadmill, you know. And you can tag things up as you need. So cool. I worked out. Took a clarity break. Reading would be the same way. You know, I would do time, continued, continued. I could spell reading. I'm working on thanks for the feedback. So I could say continue reading that. So reading's done. And then type. I've been working on my typing skills. <laughs> Not showing up real well in this video so far. Um, but I'll take a few different typing tests. And I have a video on that coming soon. But I'll just kind of put, put what it is. So in the final test, after I work through a few things, I take a final test just to see where the day is. And I say, okay. Ended up at 95 words per minute with, you know, 93% accuracy, whatever it is. Just so I can kind of look back and see what's going on. Those daily goals are just mostly to remind me of things. I put the typing in there, but the rest happens in the actual day. So it's more in line with stuff. So I can kind of see, okay, I worked at, well, I was going to work out then, didn't do, do it till later. So I would fix that one and work out the later. But I can see what's going on. I have references to the notes. All that stuff works great. Um, the other thing that can happen, though, is I'll put tasks for the future that I need to come up. And there's two ways I do that, and I'll show you how those work in. So a date in the future here, pretend this is, you know, a month from now, I can jump to that day, that day of the year. You can just type in the exact date for any date in the future. So I could type, you know, August, as long as you do the proper syntax, August 3rd, 2021, as well in the future, I could do that, and it makes a new page for that. And now here's August 3rd. I can make some notes, and when I get around to it, as it gets closer, it would actually work. So I do a lot of times, I can put a note in there. So for this example date in the future, I put, you know, remove that banner from the Acme site. So I just put a banner on a website and I know that at this date in the future, I want to remove it so I can just go to that date, put the task in there. And then when I come to build out the page, I can just do my semicolon, semicolon D for the daily page. And then maybe this is one of my one of my big goals or one of my tasks for the day. I can one way or another put that in there and have it ready to go. And then of course, build out the rest of the day. The other way you could do this is in line with stuff. I met with Joe about Acme, um, need to remove his banner ad on and then again type the date in here so here i can do example date three and make it a to-do you know control control or command enter to make it a to-do and so that's in there for example date three you want to get to that date i'll see it down at the bottom here a little more out of the way but i do a number of to-dos that way and i have a whole video about to-dos that show you how to make sure you don't lose those because those can slip away down there easy enough so either way works there um, but then you have that kind of stuff set up and again this really works well for me just to have the simpler daily goals to mix in with the interstitial journaling. So I actually get the, the details of what's happening with the events rather than having them kind of buried with, with the notes at the top. So it's working well for me, but certainly to each their own. But I would encourage you to play more with the templates because they've got it working pretty well. You can see I've got my you know, daily pages weekly. If I work on a new book, 
um, you know, have just authoring tags and things in here. I've shared these before you can find, but I've just made them official templates. And there's nothing very magical about these, just basically chunks of text to put in that you can use a text expander for or other things, but this works as well as anything. So uh, give it a shot, um, steal whatever you want from this. And if you do something neat with it or take it further, please leave a comment, let us know so we can all take advantage of that. Thanks.